To all the believers in Jesus in Lake Travis, I wanted to share this verse from the book of Zechariah that has really given my heart courage and faith in praying for God's sovereign hand of protection over our Lake Travis region. I'm standing here at the top of the Baylor Scott and White parking garage, our wonderful hospital that is servicing our area. And I'm pleased to report, we just heard a, a news report from the president of this hospital, Philippe, where he reported that 90% of the hospital is vacant, basically meaning they have an empty hospital right now. Also heard a report from Mayor Sandy Cox from Lakeway that the numbers of re reported cases daily here in our region are dropping each day. So these two great reports have bolstered my heart to continue to cry out to God for his hand of protection over our region. And the verse from the book of Zechariah, specifically chapter two, verse five, has really tattooed uh, just faith on my heart as I've thought about it and I've prayed it over our, our region. And so I wanna encourage every believer in Lake Travis just to take this verse, to put your name on this verse, to put the name of Lake Travis on this verse and hold this promise up to God and believe him that he can really do this promise. He can really fulfill this verse in our day during such a time as this, during this crisis. So the verse from Zechariah 2.5 is this. The Lord says, for I will be, the Lord will be, a wall of fire all around her, and I will be the glory in her midst. So this is a promise ultimately for the city of Jerusalem when the great king comes back and protects the city of Jerusalem from all the enemies around her. But we have an invisible enemy right now in this coronavirus. So we can actually put our region, put our name, because we believe in the same God of the Bible that is protecting Israel, because we believe in that same God, we can actually put our name and apply our situation, our families, our homes, our region to that verse. And so I, I encourage you guys, believe that verse, speak that verse over your own lives, that God would be a wall of fire around you and he would be the glory in your midst. Speak that over your homes, speak that over your neighborhoods, and speak that over your regions and believe that God really can be a wall of fire, a fire wall of protection all around us and that he would be the glory in our midst that this wall of fire isn't just for protection, but it's also an inviting of the presence of God, the glory of Jesus to be our everything in the middle of this crisis.